say here to make first layers column in we need to select embed labels on this table salesman transfer and let's see oh maybe there's some country one country two here country one country two have same set of fields here concatenation will be done automatically so to avoid that I come get nation here I'll give no concatenate to suspend automatic concatenation we need to use no concatenate QLP no concatenate QR first we want to convert first we want to convert all the tables into QVD format country 3 you customer salesman transact okay now I have loaded six tables now I want to convert all those tables into QVD format to convert all those tables into QVD format we need to write the make use of store command we need to convert store table name first one is country store table name country one into Next one is country two dot really then country three dot query. Next one is customer. Next one is salesman. Six tables totally. Salesman. Next one is transact. Okay. All these QD files are finished. Once I have created QD files, we will prepare entire data model on top of QDS itself. We don't need to depend on source. Up to this part, we can say this is QD maker script. So this is QD maker script. I click comment. And next I will load QVD files and add one more tab to load QVDs. Click on finish, finish. First we will exit this one. Okay. We go to table here. We don't have any synthetic keys. While preparing data model in ClickQ, main issues are circular reference and synthetic keys. Here, I have synthetic keys. Let to resolve these synthetic keys. So it's synthetic table. First, here, country 1, country 2, country 3. Country 3, 
don't have same set of fields, but to integrate all countries information, here we need to perform forceful concatenation. Same. Here country one, country two have same set of fields. Here concatenation is done automatically, but country three don't have same set of fields. So here more than one field is common between these tables. So synthetic keys are formed. Now to integrate all countries information, here we'll perform concatenation. If we click on reload, now there won't be any synthetic keys. To table here, no synthetic keys now. But see, there is no relationship between these tables and these tables. I want to establish relationship between them. And see, here in customer, we have customer ID. But in transact table, we have ID customer. And if we rename this ID customer as customer ID, these two tables will be related. Go to transact table and rename ID customer as customer ID. Go to transact table. Rename ID customer as customer ID. Click on the load. Okay. Then we'll go to table here. Country, customer, transact. Okay. Now all these tables are related. Now we'll check for time dimension table. Is there any table representing time dimension? Here. We have year, month, day, but I want to analyze my business based on quarter also. Instead of creating time animation table that much, simply by making use of some inline table. By taking year, quarter, we'll create one more table. Why? Because I want to analyze my business based on quarter also. Okay. Simply by using some load inline. Go to insert tab, load statement, load inline. Month, one more fill in, quarter. First month, first quarter. Second month, first quarter. Third month, first quarter. Fourth month, second quarter. Fifth month, second quarter. Sixth month, second quarter. Seventh month, third quarter. Eighth month or ninth month or tenth month fourth quarter seventh month fourth quarter twelfth month fourth we done okay I'll give some quarter or month whatever it may be we can reload okay we go to table view. Now we can analyze business based on month, quarter also. We can analyze business based on year, quarter, month, day. This is sample data model. There are no any synthetic keys or circular reference here. Now you can say now our data model is perfect. Now on top of this data model, we need to prepare visualizations. Adding sheet objects on sheet, we can say this is empty sheet. Adding sheet objects on sheet, we can say presentation part or visualization part or designer part. All these are different sheet objects, text boxes, statistics boxes, go to charts, different types of charts. Okay. In next session, we'll see on top of this one, we'll see how to uh, we'll see how to prepare visualizations.